of EA Sports Madden yes. and their annual simulation has yeah. been done. Mm -hmm. The New York football giants won it 27 to 24. You agree with the outcome? I think it's going to be a close game. Um, you know, you, you got to show them some respect because they've been right six of the last eight years. So, you know, it's hard to go away from them, but it's also hard to go against Tom Brady. Um, as I found out. You're sitting on the fence. And so he, he's, pre he's pretty good. And, um, you know, if I, had to, if I had to choose, I'd probably go with the Patriots in a close one. So reflect back. You had a wild ride, great run, high highs, a couple of low lows. In that seven of eight run, I want you to pick one moment for me, that one moment in which even you stepped back and said, this is unbelievable. <laughs> There, there was, you know, there were some moments that were very special in that run. Um, and definitely one. the Chicago game was special, but I think, you know, the start of it, the Dolphins game. It was unbelievable. It was, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. And, um, you know, to, to just be a part of that and to be a part of a team and teammates that no matter how many times we had got knocked down, no matter how many times it looked like it was bleak and, and there was no future we kept fighting and kept believing and you know kept persevering and i'm just so proud to say i was part of a team that had that much character and was led by guys like champ bailey and brian dawkins yeah. and i mean you look at the the you know the game winning touchdown versus the pittsburgh steelers yep. and you have champ bailey running down the sidelines almost catching dt almost. because he's so excited about it and you know what a special that moment how special that moment is because of guys like that that put so much into it and I think that's one was one of the coolest parts about it. You carried the ball a lot this year. Will it shorten your NFL lifespan if you continue to be a running back slash quarterback? Yeah, I don't think so. I, you know, I I came out you know throughout the year I was fairly healthy and did a did a great you know job as thing as far as taking hits you know and I'm blessed to have some great strength coaches that I work with. Um, you know, to train uh, so that I'm resilient and taking hits. And, you know, every year I'll continue to be smarter with how I take hits and how I play because um, you want to be smart about it. But at the same time, um, you know, I, I felt great um, throughout the season and always felt healthy. And So you're fine with that? You could run just as much as you did? I'm I talking about so. called running plays. I believe so, but at the same time I know we want to be smart yeah. uh, with what we call and how I, how I play and the number of hits you take. Explain to me why John Fox and John Elway still won't treat you with the respect I believe you have earned. Because we, we heard the reports going into the Pittsburgh game, your first round playoff game, that you were one series away from Brady Quinn. And even now, John Elway will say only that you're his starter until camp opens, which you heard a year ago, and you know what happened when camp opened, right? Well, you know, I think for me, uh, competition is always a good thing, and I look forward to that because I'm a competitor and I love to compete, and I'll be ready to compete. But they're still not treating you with respect. You know, I, I you think, don't think you earned it. Yeah, you know, every day you try to go out there and work as hard as you can and try to earn that respect every day, and you know that's that's my approach, and that's what I'll go out and do. And I think you know I'm very thankful, you know, to have leaders like Coach Fox and and John Elway and Brian Sanders and Joe Ellis. And I think they do a great job for our organization. I respect that you always, with this question, you, you, if I can go biblical here, you turn the other cheek. But I'm going to remind you that when necessary, even Jesus <laughs> would stand up and he would defend himself to the elders who doubted him. You know there are many cases of that in the New Testament. Am I right? Yes, sir. So at what point... Does Tim Tebow take a stand when, when you feel, I, I know in your heart there are times you just say, that's not fair to me. I've done more. I deserve a little better than that. When do you stand up for, for even the sake of your leadership with your teammates to show them you are the leader of the football team and say, that's enough of that? When do you fight back even a little bit publicly? Well, I think, you know, for me, um, you know, I'm going to respect the people that God has put in charge of me and... Um, and, you know, regardless of what happens, you know, that's how I'll approach it and um, have, uh, as far as the teammates go, I'm going to have relationships with them and hopefully they see my character and how much I care about them and what I'm willing to work and put in, um, you know, to our team and our team's success. And um, So and you'll never the, speak out against your worry, elders. All I'm going to worry about is what I can control, and that's my attitude, my effort, and how I can go out there and be a great teammate, and that's it. John Elway has talked about working you with you in the off season. Recently, Tom Martinez, and I don't know if you heard about this, Brady's quarterback guru, Did you, were you aware of this? Um, said something about working with me. He did. He said that he sees some Brady 
in you, which is the what he called internal warrior, which I agree with. So I then on the air proposed to pay your way. I would pay your way to San Mateo, California, because Tom said, come work with me for two weeks in the offseason, and he will greatly improve everything about your quarterback game, starting with your mechanics. Would you take me up on my offer to pay your way out there? Yeah, I'm, I'm so blessed to have a great quarterback coach in, in the Denver Broncos and Adam Gase, and I'm looking forward to working with him and, um, and doing whatever he wants me to do. So you couldn't do that? I, I'm going to stay with, with Coach Gase. He's a great coach. I'm excited about working with him. Are you going to stay with Coach Elway also? I mean, do, do you feel yeah, strongly gonna, that he will I'm work with you? I'm looking forward to working with him, and I'm excited about um, you know, whatever he wants me to do. But he, all right, a lot going on there, uh, and, but we're not done. Skip uh, sat down with Tim for about 25 minutes yesterday, wasn't it? It's supposed to be 15, turned to 25. Yeah. He was, I'm surprised he, was, he didn't give you an hour. His, I'm bro, surprised he didn't. At the end, he said, man, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he didn't give you two hours. I'm he, he, he probably owed me two hours. Uh -huh. Well, there, there's more coming up from uh, from Skip and Tim in just a little bit. You mean I don't get to comment yeah. about what I just sure, sure. said? Sure. Have at it. What do you think? <sighs> well, first of all, Skip knows how to interview. I'm not going to sit up here and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with you, but I, I know that you're, you're a hell of a journalist because I know what you've done throughout your career. But there were a couple of moments where if I was a lawyer, if this was a courtroom, I would have been objecting big time, leading the witness. <laughs> and the main... But the witness leader, wouldn't be led. Leader, oh, leading the witness. That's what John Dodds went up and you did to you with dis uh, 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 disrespected. Uh, 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 I'm like, what? <laughs> what? That's a question? And not only did he ask about being disrespected, but then he answered it for him by telling him how he was disrespected. And I said, okay. No. No. I wanted to hear what Tim Tebow had to say, even though I suspect he would never say anything remotely critical of his coaches. You were leading... He's not that guy. No. Hey, all I'm saying is that you were leading a witness a couple of times. I tried, I pushed, I pulled. Tim Tebow is as what they call media trained as I've ever run across. Wow. He is so good at not answering tough questions. Mm -hmm. And you can watch his mind work and that little grin comes on his face and I can see in his eyes you and I that he'd like to say You and I differ in yeah. that belief. You think he's, gift he's gifted at avoiding answering tough questions. I don't think he ever answers any questions. I don't care if you... I think the only thing, the question that Tim Tebow asks is his name. What's, what's your name? Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. I mean, what's your name? Wait, do you, do you, you know, genuine with his answers? Let me say this. Let me say this. <clears throat> I question the man. I'm on record. I don't think he could throw the football. Yeah, you've been clear there. I would never question his character. Right. I would never question his upbringing. I would never question any of those things about him. I truly believe he's impossible to root against, meaning rooting against him, the person. Yeah, sure. When I root against him, it's because of him. Or it's because from on a serious, I'm joking when I say it's because of him because we're having fun. But the serious side is mm -hmm. when I root against him, I'm rooting against a system that has not acted favorably towards others in his position. And I find myself on many occasions saying, why him instead of those others? So to me, that's not against him. That's saying, wait a minute, there's inconsistencies here, the concessions you've made for him that you didn't make for a lot of other people throughout NFL history. Like? But if I sat here and I rooted against him, that would be unfair because he is a great kid and he is great for the sport, and I wish him well. All right. But you root against me. Yeah, all the so time. You root against all him. the time. Yeah. All the time I root against him. So because he okay. cheers for Tebow, he contributes to the Tebow right. cynicism. Point of order. A little later in the show, we're going to hear him respond to some religion questions. Oh. One being, what role does God play in 